Uh, these are not merely acts of war, these are war crimes. What Hamas has done is to perpetrate the worst war crime since the Holocaust. The burning of people alive, putting them, cramming young people in a room, putting, bringing spare tires from cars so there's more flames, burning them alive. This is the Holocaust methods. Shooting babies, bound children, shooting them in the face, killing uh, children before in front of their parents, killing parents in front of their children, the rape and murder of women, the kidnapping of uh, old people, young people, families, tearing them away. You saw the picture of that little boy? Pushed, beaten. Uh, it reminds us of the pictures from the worst periods of the Holocaust. So if Hamas could have its way, it would do to us exactly what the Nazis did to the Jews. They would kill every last one of us. They would mutilate our bodies. They would behead us. And that's what they did. And therefore, it is important to understand Hamas perpetrated the worst war crimes since World War II. And Hamas is ISIS. In some respects, uh, as President Biden has said, they're worse than ISIS. And so they have to be treated the way ISIS was treated. The international community banded together to eradicate this this uh, horrible scourge. Uh, and I appreciate the fact that the international community and Europe is standing behind Israel so that we can eradicate this scourge. We are doing so, uh, I think, in the front line of civilization. This is the front line of civilization between and barbarism. And we have to uh, assure that nobody meets with the barbarians. It doesn't have, there are not diplomatic relations with uh, ISIS, there are not diplomatic relations with Al-Qaeda after 9-11, uh, and there is no harboring states that harbor uh, Hamas uh, representation or harboring ISIS or Al-Qaeda. That's unthinkable. There should be a, con a concrete position of the international community to uh, apply sanctions on countries that do so. If we stand united, then civilization will win. And Israel appreciates the support that you're giving us in this, uh, these trying times. And I'm sure we'll have other ideas that we'll talk about in our meeting. Thank you, Ursula. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.